Hi students, we are going to study about the NCRT class 7 geography first chapter environment. We know that we have environment. Whatever we can see in our surroundings, that is our environment. We can see table, car, tree, house, road, plants, animals, birds. That means the place, people, things and the nature that surround any living organism is called environment. Environment means the place, people, things and the nature that surround any living organism is called environment. Environment is the combination of natural and human made things. We know that natural environment includes living organism and non-living elements. Natural environment includes biotic and abiotic components. Biotic components refers to the world of living organism. Example, plants and animals. And abiotic components refers to the world of non-living living elements that are land, air, water, etc. So, we can see that land, water, air, plants, animals and these comprise the natural environment. Next, we are going to study about the components of environment. We know that in our surroundings, so many things are there. That means water is there, land is there, so many buildings, bridges, our family members, our friends. And these are all the part of our environment. So, we can divide these elements in a three headings that are natural components, human-made components and human components. Natural components of environment includes water, air, land and all the living things that are plants and animals. We can say the domain of water is called hydrosphere, the domain of air is called atmosphere, the domain of land is called lithosphere and the domain of living things is called biosphere. We will discuss later and, and these are including our natural components of environment. That means natural components of environment includes hydrosphere, atmosphere, lithosphere and biosphere. Next we are going to discuss about the human made components of the environment. We know that whatever we need we will make it. That means human made environment. We need buildings, park, bridges, roads and industries. And also we know our environment now includes laptops, mobile phone and electronic items. And these are human made. So simply we can say these are the human made environment. Then our components of environment include human environment. That means we know that our environment includes the human presence. That means we need our family, friends in our environment. So our environment only complete with the individuals. And so these are called the human environment. Human environment includes individuals, family, friends, our community, our religion and our economic system and our political system, our educational system that are including our human environment. Now we are going to study more about the natural environment. We know that natural environment includes lithosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere and biosphere. Now we are going to learn some more factors about these domains. First one is lithosphere. Lithosphere is the domain of land. It is a solid crust or hard top layer of the earth. 
it is made up of rocks and minerals covered by a thin layer of soil it has various land forms that are mountains plateaus plains valleys landforms are found over in continents and also in oceanic floors lithosphere is the domain that provide us forest grassland for grazing grassland for agriculture and land for human settlements it is also a source of mineral wealth so lithosphere contains so many minerals next one hydrosphere we know that hydrosphere is the domain of water it contains various source of water and different type of water bodies like river lake sea ocean etc it is essential for all living organism that means we needs water for our survival plants animals are also need water for their survival next one is atmosphere we know that atmosphere is the domain of air the atmosphere is the thin layer of air that surrounds the earth the gravitational force of the earth hold the atmosphere around the earth atmosphere protect us from harmful rays of the sun and atmosphere consists of number of gases dust and water vapor atmosphere has five layers troposphere stratosphere mesosphere thermosphere and exosphere the changes in the atmosphere produce the changes in the weather and the climate next one is biosphere we know that plant and animal kingdom together make the biosphere and it is the living world it is a narrow zone of the earth where land water and air interact with each other to support life next one is human environment human beings interact with their environment and day by day they modify their environment according to their needs we know that early humans adopted themselves to natural surroundings they led the simple life and fulfill their requirements from the natural surroundings then human beings learns new ways to use the change and environment they learn to grow crops they learn to settle the life the wheel was invented and so on human beings expand their environment still we are expanding example we are now in our online environment we are in front of the mobile phone we are in front of the laptop the last portion of how this chapter ecosystem we know that we are depending each other that means living organism depend each other and we are also depending the non living things the ecosystem refers to the relationship between living organisms as well as the relationship between the organism and their surroundings the ecosystem is relationship between the living organisms and they also depending the non living things for their survival the examples are pond river forest grassland a desert mountains lake etc these are the portions of this chapter i hope it's clear thank you